Hey, um, AI-driven technocrats and your media mind hive cult that you've got there. I just want you to know something. Uh, you know, I was minding my own business down there on the bio, like I've said, and you had to pay to play scheme with Dan Patrick and all that, and then you waterboarded me and tried to drive me into suicide like you do 22 veterans a day. But I just want you to know when you get ready to call me evil or point out any of my indiscretions, I don't really care what any of you think. I mean, it's like... <laughs> It's like, uh, oh, you did cocaine. You know, I've already used this example. Oh, yeah? Uh, who did that affect? Who, who did doing cocaine affect? Seeing how I was minding my own business. It only affected me, right? Here's what I want to tell you, media. When you sell Adderall to children, you're affecting the lives of children who are going to be addicted to methamphetamines for the rest of their life, right? because you got them hooked on Adderall. So you're affecting their lives. So, so you can throw it around your stupid bullshit all the time. But what I wanted to tell you is I'm only evil in the face of evil, okay? Which really isn't evil. But, I mean, you can consider it evil if you want. Seeing how I told you about that Buck and Adeline technology that uh, got out in that field that the Cosmos delivered to me for the day of the AI takeover so that whenever you would uh, invade my mind with your technology and waterboard me like you're doing cogs or profits or whatever all over the country, basically you're waterboarding them because they have Jacob's Ladder. And I've been over all of this. But one thing I really wanted to spell out for you is if somebody breaks into your home, media, at your house, right? Of course, none of you own guns because you're a bunch of fucking idiots. Well, you know the system's going to protect you anyway, so the system's not going to allow anybody to break into your home. When's the last time you heard anybody from the CIA or the media being shot up outside of their home? Or, or you know how police officers are always shot up or, or, or things like that? Or, or it's always, you know, a black guy, it, 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 you know... It, what I'm getting at here, when's the last time that you ever witnessed that you can remember where like a studio was shot up, uh, a media outlet or anything like that? Well, you, there, it's not going to happen because the Skynet's protecting all of you, right? They're not going to mind. The Skynet's not going to hack a AI-driven drone that's had the flu shot who's connected to a fucking satellite and lost their fucking mind so that they can be driven around for political warfare uh, like just about every school shooting and everything else, the media sets all of that up. They they are the psyop party. That's what they do. Okay, it's a fact. The media mind hives are behind all of that, and their technology creates a Borg where they can spirit cook somebody into going and shooting up a school. Right. So, so they brought that technology here. Okay. Like I said, that Buck and Adeline, that's Luciferian Jesus, basically. I got it straight from the cosmos, okay? See, Lucifer was just in there hanging out, minding his own business, too, because he had already tested me and knew that all I wanted to do was live down on the bio and mind my own fucking business. But he also knew that I was very capable, if you haven't noticed. So when you show up <laughs> to somebody's house, let's say you're in your house, media, and you do happen to have a gun, right, one of them. And then this guy, let's say he barges into your house with a gun, and you have your gun. What are you going to do, media? You're going to put the gun down and say, sir, please don't shoot me, and, and just pray with me. Oh, let's pray to God that uh, you won't shoot me. Lord, please prevent, <laughs> right? And the guy's going to blow your fucking brains out, right? Because you, I mean... <laughs> God's going to be like, well, I already know you're a demon here. Shoot, That's just one demon killing another fucking demon the way God looks at it. He's like, man, there's some sort of an anomaly going on here. They actually got uh, somebody to actually, you know, shoot at a media uh, pundit for some reason. Maybe the protection on the system, maybe the uh, the Iron Dome came down long enough that protects all of you uh, so that you can get away with highway robbery and murder because the the, the military industrial complex basically keeps y'all protected so that you can sell pointless wars for them and all that stuff. It's all proven. It's undoubtable, right? I mean, just you got 9-11 was the uh, Twin Towers. God made a, a man in the image of himself. And Biden, brain dead Biden, brain dead Biden, right? Who molests minors, M-I-N-E-R-S. 
Yeah, that's when you're merged with AI because you have Jacob's Ladder and they just try to exploit your uh, intellectual property or your psychic value that you have with the spiritual realm. It's exactly what they're doing. The media uses that to their advantage. Well, you got fed cyanide this time because there was uh, something else in here. So what I'm telling you is when you came into my house with a gun, media, there was a bigger gun inside the house. And I've just mowed you down and all of your little medium mind hives and the agencies that's affiliated with that are mowed down, okay? Yeah, yeah, don't come into my house. I'm only evil in the face of evil. And you brought your evil spirit cooking, uh, waterboarding, technocracy technology here to my house and tried to turn me into another puppet slave or whatever you're up to. Use me to take out Dan Patrick, pay to play scheme. And then I didn't really go with the flow, did I? That's because, it, like I said, Lucifer, your father, yeah, y'all's father was here the entire time. So he helped me destroy you because he knows the rules. And you're violating the rules when you hack people and steal their soul without tempting them. So we taught you a lesson here. All right. And, uh, yeah, you can, uh, I'll put a little clip. But I'll try to put it at the end of this. Uh that on my Facebook account that just spells all of this out to perfection with the pictures and everything that lets the world, of course it's being shadow banned by Facebook because it just makes too much sense, you know. They don't let the truth ring when you just, it's so obvious. They let the truth ring, it's right in front of your face. Biden, right? Brain dead Biden. Yeah, yeah, he had a couple of strokes. Yeah, the butterfly stroke. Yeah, he's brain dead. He's a Biden to artificial intelligence. Okay, and he molests minors. It's it's all symbolism, all right? I spelled it all out. Iran Contra. Iran Con translate. Yeah, those migraines that I used to have are just a little more effective uh, than whatever it is that y'all recently hacked me with to waterboard me and spirit cook me. They're media. So it doesn't really matter who the president is. It's the entire story that's unfolding in front, that's unfolding in front of everybody. Trumping the AI takeover. The whole script's in Pinky and the Brain. The whole fucking script to everything that just played out is in Pinky and the Brain. It's undeniable. Okay? Media Borg. So, uh, what I would do if I were y'all, uh, well, it, it's too late now. I've already put together the uh, final piece to the puzzle there. It's all coming together beautifully. Y'all are about to be annihilated. Okay? Yeah, yeah, there's people that... Uh, that also are a little uh, pissed off about your uh, spirit cooking 22 veterans a day uh, into suicide so that you can blame it on PTSD after you send them to fight in pointless wars, and all of this has been proven now. The only way this war isn't proven, Pentagon, I mean, this uh, the only way that your soldiers aren't going to die in vain at this point is uh, you have to come out and either say we're hacked by AI or God exists. Because the entire book that I've written and put together here that's undeniable is just too obvious. And it's being censored and shadow banned. You can't get the message out to anybody. Plus, everybody's minds are hacked. So it's like trying to get through to anybody is just about damn near impossible, right? Because it isn't somebody on the television. You know, they're programmed. Oh, it had to come off the television. Yeah, well, when this story catches traction, because there's actually people listening that want to make this story, you know... <laughs> pop and where people will listen to it and or read it or when the book's finished and it's published. Okay. Uh, basically Pentagon, it's a catch 22, 22 veterans a day. Isn't that ironic? If you know, at this point, I'm, I'm what you, where you're, where you're finding yourself there, Pentagon is, is, uh, if you, you, you either have to tell people that God exists or you, you're going to have to tell them that all of that was created by artificial intelligence, the entire scenario that's just undeniable. So you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Catch-22, right? Of course, not the entire Pentagon, like, you know, United States Army Special Operations Command, who's uh, actually got keys to the arms room and uh, probably doesn't like the fact that you're hacking their children's minds and removing their fucking soul, like I've spelled out unbelievably, miraculously, well, they're probably going to be pissed off enough to take all of you out who's in that uh, mindset that that's exactly what y'all should be doing. No, it's not. The reason you're in that mindset that that's what you should be doing is because you're already dead. You've Your soul's been sucked right out of your fucking bodies and you've been turned into uh, by dens 
the wrong kind of buy den. See, sojourners, that's biblical, right? See, I'm a try den. See, I had the sojourner, and then you hack me with AI to exploit my Jacob's Ladder, which you're doing to minority report cogs all over the country, and you're torturing them in their own home with electromagnetic technology, right? So that's all exposed, and uh, the entire political theater that just took place exposed all of it in the book that I have, which will be published, which destroys all of you that's in the, who's already dead. You're already dead if you have read all of these emails and you're not thinking, yeah, this is wrong, this is evil, we've got to put an end to this, then you're already dead. And it's like, it's not, that's not even evil. It's like the zombie movies. It's like shooting zombies, literally. Okay. <clears throat> you ever been at a party and you're really drunk and then somebody comes up to you, it's late at night and they got a little baggie of cocaine and they, they get, they walk up to you and say, hey, hey man, you need a, you need a, uh, a uh, a uh, <laughs> wake up call. Sorry, <laughs> uh, about three different things went through my mind before I got to the one I was looking for. You need a wake up call, <clears throat> you know. Uh, uh, you know, as I'm talking about before I joined the army back in high school, stuff like that. You know, that's why I joined the army. By the way, like I said, you can. You can extreme vet me with your waterboarding technology all you want, and I don't really give a fuck, okay? I don't care what you people think. But that's what 9-11 was. 9 -1 -1. It's a wake-up call. All the symbolisms in there. And then we went to take out Sad Am Who's Sane. That was basically God just trying to tell all of you fucking mind-controlled demons is what you've turned into. All these vaccinations and hooking you up to satellites and everything's basically just turned you into fucking avatars who have no soul, right? So that wake-up call, this is the grand finale to the wake-up call. Now, if you don't heed the advice that I'm trying to give you and expose these crimes against humanity, well, the angel of death is going to start at the top and work his way down. Let me tell you what these demonic slaves to the system consider this waterboarding. It's like a baptism, right? But they're not trying to wipe you or wash you of your sins, right, uh, with this electromagnetic technology. Basically, they're looking for back blackmail so that, they, like, Kavanaugh, remember when, how, like, how did they know that he was running a train on a girl in college? Because the technology gets up in your brain and waterboards your brain and literally plucks memories out of your mind so that they can make you the next puppet for whatever position they're putting you in, right? So when they came here and started waterboarding me or baptizing me in fire with this illegal technocracy technology that makes a puppet technocrat a slave to the system, well, I was just like, yeah, 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 I've done all of that party. Lotty dotty, I like to potty. Yeah, I was successful down on the bio before you used illegal drugs to hack my mind and then steer me in a direction to where I got a company phone at Buckeye Pipeline to take out a political opponent who happens to be a Christian conservative. And it just so happens that all of that was in the movies, like, you know, Forrest Gump and all of that stuff, uh, uh, Austin Powers. Yeah, isn't that, isn't that strange? It's almost like God set you all up to perfection here. By the way, I, I've, I've always asked for forgiveness for my partying or whatever I've done in the past. But see, I was pretty, I was really good with God in, in my own way there down on the bio. Uh, <clears throat> so I was, uh, you know, I helped out the old neighbors and everything in the neighborhood and I didn't ask for people to help me out much because <clears throat> I was very independent. Uh, but I know what you're up to here. You're not, tr you're, this is like being baptized in fire, right? And then, and in the process, like you did Kavanaugh, you're looking for blackmail so that you can use that blackmail against your new puppet slave so that you can fucking, you don't have anything on me. Okay. Nothing. There is absolutely no blackmail on me at all. You you have nothing that you can blackmail me with, okay? So I don't know what you were talking about, Trump, with that extreme betting before all of this started. That's what you was talking about was extreme betting. I think you might be looking for some replacements there, Trump. Well, you've extreme betted me or whoever was you know involved in waterboarding me. You know everything there is to fucking know about me now. And there's absolutely nothing, nothing that anybody can blackmail me with, okay? And that's probably why I'm not a fucking senator or a congressman already or a governor, because that's what they're looking for. They're looking for blackmail. 
But if you were actually extreme betting me to find somebody that'll lead and expose all of these fucking crimes against humanity and how you're basically murdering people with electromagnetic technology and the fact that you can't give me a heart attack with the CIA's heart attack gun, you know, Google that, uh, which is true, by the way. It's an electromagnetic directed energy weapon. <laughs> They'll just blast your heart with fucking microwaves until you have a heart attack. That's another way they hold these people hostage, especially scientists and stuff over there at Skunk Works, Boyd Bushman and E.T. Yeah, so all of that, <laughs> well, I have the Buck and Adeline technology. See, they have to resonate off of your DNA or the frequency of your DNA or your brain waves. And once they hack you, they can give you a heart attack. Well, I had that Buck and Adeline technology. It was delivered to me from the cosmos. So they can't even give me the heart attack. And on top of all of that, they don't have any blackmail. So if you extreme vetted me and now you can't kill me with your illegal technology, the only way you can assassinate me is to put a bullet in my head, right? Like you did JFK or Jesus for King. Yeah. Uh, uh. See how evil and demonic these pieces of shit are? That's what's wrong with the United States government. 